Hey everyone, it's Angel with Holiday Bubbles. I was just gonna do a little video on a Christmas truck. This Christmas truck is from Hobby Lobby. Um, I did quite a few of these last year, so I have about six orders to fulfill doing these trucks. Um, they come with a little Christmas tree in the back with colorful lights, um, battery operated. If you've seen these at Hobby Lobby, they go fast. So if you see them, you must grab them really, <laughs> cause they go fast. So um, what I'm gonna do is gonna embellish the back of the truck. And I will, uh, with most of the stuff I got was from Hobby Lobby, uh, except for the ribbon and the foam. I use foam in the back, which is the white um, gaps and crack, the installation foam, which I used and sprayed on like a paper or wax paper and then um, so you can use them in different projects and foam fillers because some of those um, plant foams, the block foams, they get expensive. So this is just makes it cheaper to do it this way and utilize, you know, just a little cheaper. <laughs> so anyhow, so this is the truck. Super popular in the last few day, uh, years, actually, in the Christmas holidays. The Christmas trucks are always popular. Um, the timer, they do have a timer and a switch on and off. So, you're not, if you forget about turning it off, you might as well just flip it to timer and it will show off itself to save those batteries. So, let's get started. I will let you know what all I'm using. Again, everything is from Hobby Lobby. Uh, except for some of the ribbon that I will be using, but I'll show you, but this is a nice little quick little project, but you can do these in different kind of embellishments. So I'm going to use these. Buffalo plaid is always, always the popular for the last few years now. And so we got those and we got these greeneries with the berries. And these, and one of these. I might have to use another one, but we'll see. We'll see. So, we can use different greener. You don't have to use the same thing I'm using. So, and I'm, I'm an embellishment with the, with the ornament tag with Mary on it. Um, just to give it just a little extra detail. So, we'll get started. All right, what I'm gonna do first is probably just put the greenery in with these big picks. You can break, you can cut these in half and utilize them as fillers. You can utilize those fillers. Cut off the tags. husband's wire cutters and I'm about due for some new ones. Way past due probably. <laughs> so hopefully I can get these. If not, we're going to have to do something else. Yep. And it's hard to cut through that thing. This is big wire base. Oh, there you go. Big, big wire base. All right, so I did just cut these in half. Make sure you go use a good wire cutter. I am in need of a good wire cutter, actually. <laughs> so I cut this in half and with the berries on that side. So the big side I'm probably gonna use in the back. Again, these red tracks are popular every year, so far every year. 
and it's probably going to be around um, the next few years probably. But it's a good filler, as you can tell. I'll put that real big one in the back. It's hard to see. Put that real big one in the back. So, this is a video. So, hopefully, you can like zoom in, zoom out as you can when you're watching your video. So, I'm going to put this up front. Always utilize those big sprays and cut them apart and utilize those. Voila. Oop, that is attached to the truck. These little ones I'm gonna put up front just because they're little. Love those. Again, these are thick, 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 thick wires. Hard to cut those suckers. Are you going to put it up here? Well, let's do it like that. Spread it apart so you can see your Christmas tree still. Right there in the middle. This little spray, I'm cutting it apart just because I'm going to use it up front right there. I'll show you. Okay. Alright, so these, I cut that little one. So I can use just a little bit of it right here up front. I don't want to use the whole thing. These granary, they have wire in them, so you don't have to have the thick wire. You can still push it in that foam. So that gives it a little filler right there. And let's add some berries. Love these berries. It gives you a different texture of greenery. Mm -hmm. Texture of greenery in there. Always use Gorilla Glue with all my projects. Gorilla Glue is good glue. Also, everybody knows that. So always use Gorilla Glue sticks, glue sticks. So it's come along with it's the greenery. I'm just gonna stick a couple more of this this berry bush in here. Make it full. Here it is, very full, so you have a truckload of greenery. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to use the buffalo plaid picks and the bells. Taking these 
tags off of them. Pigs, sometimes you can cut those pigs down and sometimes you don't have to. So I don't think I need to. There, and it's not a wrong or right, right place to put your uh, embellishments, just whatever you feel like you want to do. That's the thing about crafts or any kind of DIY projects. You do whatever you want to do. This just gives you some inspiration of how I do mine. I like these little picks because they have the little bells on them and the frosted pine cone gives it more texture. I cut him down a little bit. And I am probably gonna use inside. You can see this right here. There's that foam right there. I'm gonna just gonna put them right here through the truck actually. Cover up that foam also. You don't have to see that foam. There we go. Perfect. So far. Next, I don't think I'm going to use my second one. Next, I am going to add the bow. Well, first, let me do that. I'm going to put the tag on top of the truck. Probably right here. Just to give it, again, the extra details on your item, on, on your DIY project. I find that putting extra detail to something just adds a little bling to your decor. Just those extra details. I'm just going to tie it in a regular knot using that twine rope. There you go. Super easy, super easy project. And I will cover up all that foam that you see, the white foam, I'm gonna cover that up here shortly, but I'm gonna add the bow. You don't have to put a bow. Some people don't have to. There's no right or wrong to do it. It's your preference. You can add a bow or you just don't and just leave it as it is and just put more fillers in there. But I like to add a bow. And again, this is a custom order that I'm doing. I have six of these that I need to do to fill orders. So all of those has bows. Just going to be a simple little bow, nothing extra. Again, I got this ribbon here at Hobby Lobby. They have tons of these. They're always popular every year. <laughs> every year this is popular. So, you can use that ribbon. I think it's like 75 feet. And I'm just going to add just like a, a tan, just to rest it and put some glitter in there. Red for 
the center of the button of the bow. Normally I use uh, pipe cleaners to use or tie my bows, but I forgot to bring them down here from upstairs. So we're gonna just use something I have on the table that I cut off the greenery. Use it as a little tie. <laughs> Use what you have. <laughs> I would never really throw anything away. So it's just a simple little bow. Simple bow. Uh, let's see. I'm probably going to just put them in the back. Probably cut the tail a little shorter. One of those didn't catch the thumb, so I gotta redo it. Make sure you stuff it in there. Good. Or is this gonna come out? This just gives it some more filler to your track, adding the bow. But again, you don't have to add a bow. You don't have to add anything. You could just do without a bow. But normally, I would just tie it in. But I don't. Again, I don't have any. I don't have my ties down here. So I'm just gonna use what I have. Dove cut your tails. So again, here is it with the bow. Again, you don't have to have a bow in it, but I like to have bows in my projects. Then we're gonna cover up those, cover up that foam. Cut one of these off the one of the um, that spray, and I'm just gonna tie it together. 
<laughs> and make a little wreath out of it. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> and I'm just going to put it right there on the side mirror. Easy. Just extra detail. All right, and we're going to just cover up that foam. And what I'm going to use to cover up the foam is the burlap rope. It's the, um, you can get it at Hobby Lobby too. It's the burlap um, roll. It's in a roll like this. So I use that and cut it up in squares. And use four picks. I bunch it out like this. Like it looks like a little bow tie. And I just threw, put my pick through there. The four of picks. The four four of picks. And um, you can add glue to the back. And you're just gonna put it right here to cover up that foam. Easy and very cheap to do. Almost done. And then it will be a quick little project. Super easy. Some DIY projects with your girlfriends. Y'all each get a, a track like this from Hobby Lobby and choose your own fillers. And it'll be like a DIY project for girls, like Girls Night Out. That's a great idea. Great idea right there. Almost done. And then Super quick and fast and easy. See, it just gives it more little details in the back of the truck. And there you go. All done. <laughs> Great project for you and the girls or just for you just had to add something. Again, these trucks are from Hobby Lobby. And hopefully It'll be a fun project with you and girls, or just you. <laughs> Super cute. <laughs> Thanks for joining. A um, quick little tutorial on the Christmas track right here at um, Hobby Lobby. Again, everything, most of it came from Hobby Lobby. Some of the ribbon didn't. But again, thanks for joining. I hope y'all enjoy. See you later. Thanks. Bye.